Toggle Ject Blue. Toggle Surf Slayers Red. I'm so glad I spent three hours setting that up yesterday, by the way. <laughs> right, let's see what's going on. I actually completely missed the band units and I didn't even put them in, so oops. Fuck, I'm gonna check this now. I need to check through the team list to see who's got everything. So it looks like everything's in the matchup. And if it is, we'll have to exit out basically and then uh, look at that again. Right, so Madao and Keshigs were the units that were banned. So I'm just going to check the team list now as soon as I can. If nothing's there, like, if there's no Modao and no Keshigs, we're laughing. Uh, we can just continue as... Yeah, Modao Keshigs. We can continue as we wanted to, so let's have a look. Quick look through. No Modao Keshigs there. No Modao Keshigs there. Perfect. We can keep going. My bad, though. I should have asked that before. Right, let's get set up. So, we have obviously Ject attacking. And Surf Slayer's defending. So, objective split almost 50 50 A and B. I'm going to go in the middle here. We've got Falcon is breaking down the A side breach, which is literally about to drop. Verstehst einfach kein Wort? Ja, weil ich Englisch rede und halt ziemlich schnell. Also, die, die, die Blauen, die greifen die Roten an. <laughs> right. Let's see what happens. So, they've got the breach down now. Is that Jackie up on the wall? No, Jackie's red team. That's Ice Eagle. He's about to get ruined, though. Oh, no. He jumped off. He jumped off. Thank you for the follow, Iceman. Much appreciated, my guy. Er sollte einfach Deutsch reden. Das du. Nö. Ihr müsst auch was lernen. Komm. Band units are Keshigs and Madau. So, I forgot to... um. I forgot to uh, ban the units, but they don't actually have them in the game, which is good. So they both stuck to that, which is really nice. So we can just keep going through. Um, yeah, all good. So it looks like they're doing a side push. They're going through the gate. They've got some set up on the breach as well. They've actually got through really well, but the defenders have got a lot here, man. So Surf Slaves had their first matchup yesterday and they did really well. Oh, they got them down there. That is a good setup. Is that two sets of Falcon it is for the defenders? One set of Falcon it is. That is a really good angle, though. Like a really good angle. Okay. And there's the first heroes dead for the attackers. I mean, the attackers have got through to A, though. And the defenders are going to have to push in behind them. So they're starting to get... A, oh, no. That Jackie Trin's about to get on the A point again. Yeah, there he is. So he's just stopped them. He's just basically being a pain in the ass, though. The attackers have just lost five dudes. The defenders are probably going to counter or attack him now. Yeah. Yeah. Also ganz schnell auf Deutsch. The Angreifer wurden zurückgeschlagen. Die haben gerade fünf Typen verloren. Um, obwohl. Schwierig. They've lost. Both have lost about the same. Oh no, wait. The attackers have lost nearly 300. The defenders 200. So the defenders are definitely doing better so far. Probably Hedder, he has problems. <laughs> right, they're getting... I don't know. It's like they're just filtering in, and it looks like they should be winning, but Surf Slayers are just managing to constantly keep pushing them back. Although the defenders now are down four players, so Jack, they're getting in there now. They just trapped their own units a little bit. The Falconer is about to pull back and get ammo while the dude died that was running it. A is safe now, though. The Surf Slayer is going to pull back, or are they going to keep feeding into this? I can't help but feel like this is a bad idea. That's a lot of gold units up for Project Ultras as well. Oh, Cavalry just got in, though. Didn't get stopped, I don't think. Counter Cavalry? 
I don't know if this is a good idea for Surf Slayers, though, because they need, like, a second or two on the point the attacker's doing, and they've basically got it. The difference in units that have died so far is getting equalized as well. That was, a, although, a very good cavalry charge from the defender. Was that Monastics? Wing to Sars, possibly. No, it was weak Wing to Sars. Oh, was that Armigers? What is that for a unit? Wing to Sars, right. I couldn't see the Lancers, and I just saw the Wings at the end. That's a pretty decent Treb coming in. They're on B now, so Syn... Synetics? Yeah, Synetics was on B. Tinjev's after him, though. They've pushed him off there. They've got three and a half minutes. The attackers have lost like half their team, so they're going to have to reset. But that's like two seconds on point, and then they get it. Iceman, who's stronger? Um, both are very equally matched, I'd say. Jack Dultras have won... No, they drew their last match. Surf Slayers won theirs, their first one yesterday. But I wouldn't like to decide or like to choose from the beginning who would win. Um, both teams are on an equal footing so far, I'd say. Unit-wise, yeah... There's 50 in it, 50, 50 unit difference. The attackers are very coordinated when they attack, but so are the defenders. But like I said, they clear the A point once, they've captured it, and they've already managed to do that a couple of times so far. They're doing pretty good with their trebs as well. They've still got 10 after this one. That, is that going to hit anything though? They get a couple of shots get in there. The Falconet is a backup though. Where did they just shoot from? I literally just thought... Am I going... Oh, they're there! I was looking like, where the hell are they? There they are, right? So they've got an angle straight down to the gatehouse. The attackers are already in, though. That treb could be very good. Oh, that's actually really well-timed. Oh, those grey hair are lucky. Those grey hair are so lucky. They've come through the breach as well. That Rabulus must have come through the back here with some cavalry. Roxor's just killed Cytonic. So the attackers have lost one player so far. The defenders have lost a player, though, as well. This is a very scrappy fight. Ooh, the attackers' flamers, though, could do work. Roxor's try to kill him, though. The Roxor's dead. So the flamers are still up. This is very close. The attackers have got 200 more units. Um, they've still got very good units out as well. So if they win this attack, which it looks like they're going to, the defenders have just dropped down, what, nine players? Ten players? So the attackers are going to get A. The attackers are going to get A, they're going to clear this. Yeah, good does have with me a good after. Yeah, now logish. This next time I must have to make good glue, but that's of us. Right, so the attackers have done really well here. The defenders have been nuked. They've lost all bar two of their players that are pulling back. They're getting B. They. I wonder if they know that about capping the, the harbour. Fatals is over there. Shout out to Fatals as well, by the way, and Hedda. Hedda was in here before, commentating with us. And Fatals, both of those guys used to be EU2 and they used to be in the house I'm in, although then it was called Section 8. So shout out to those boys. Die Blauen Greifen, die Roten, then. Right, so they're going to cap C before they get the harbour, so they know to wait. Cool, so that's Jack doing that. Jack's getting the, the, the... There's only a 100 unit difference, though. The defenders are missing quite a lot of players with units. So we've got five players that don't have any units, and the attackers are only missing one. The attackers have got time as well. They've got nine trebs as well, so I reckon Jack... The Jack to... It's Jack's to lose. Let's say that. It's definitely Jex to lose now. The Armigas? Oh no, that's Outriders. They've got Outriders and there's Winged Asars up somewhere as well. I can't see the Winged Asars though. And thank yous for the follows, my boys. Uh, after this matchup, when we're in between rounds, I will shout the people out that have followed. Um, I'm not being an arsehole in... Well, I am being an arsehole in ignoring you, but I'm not doing it on purpose. Alright? I'm trying to concentrate on the game. <laughs> Right, what's going on here? So Fatals and Turbo are running off there. Because of that the multi-language last second followed her. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Danke schön, Ariam. Ich kann aber nur Deutsch, and, Deutsch English and Arschloch kann ich nur. Yeah, band units are Keshig and Madau broken. Uh, I accidentally forgot to not put them in band units, but um, Jekt 
Jack Ultras and the Surf Slayers, being the professional teams that they are, just didn't bring the band units anyway, which was really good. That Treb did not do so much. I'm going to get a good angle on this. So the attackers have got Falconetti down. The defenders have got Falconetti down as well, though. Good Treb. If they don't see that, that, that unit might be gone here. Oh, we've seen it though. Are they... Oh, you lucky bugger. I think he lost a unit there. But they've been forced off. The attackers are now moving in. All from the one side, which is good. If they can make this blob up here and then treb it. Wait, they got bagpipes? They've got bagpipes out. Jinjev. The attackers there though. Multiple pipe pike walks. Dark Flames, Mac Flames, and Esponia though. Going for the Falcon. It is a fear. Head are trying to stop them. The Namcams are doing work. They are sat on top of the Falcon, it is. It's even. One unit down, or one hero down per team. Two hero now for the defenders. Winged Asaz just came in and got absolutely annihilated here in the middle. I don't know what stopped the charge, but it was the Falcon on V attack that killed them. <laughs> I know that much. So the bagpipers are still going as well. You've got this header. <laughs> The head is probably doing terrible, let's be real. So the defenders are down five players. The attackers are down three now. They've got control of the point for now. These over here need to get stuck in though. Unit wise, the attackers have got a definite advantage over the defenders. They've got almost double. Maybe half-ish of the defending team don't have units anymore. I think this is Jack's game. I think they've got it. Yeah, they've got it. So Roxor's going to be the last dude up. Obviously, somebody's just spawned in, but he's not getting there in time. So GG, Jekt Ultras. Very well played. Very well played both teams. Both teams did extremely well there. Fatal. Oh. Aww. <laughs> head head, header just beneath the top five. What's going on there? But some good plays here, man. So we got 121 units killed from Guid or Guedo. Or Guid? Guid. Guid. I don't even know how to say that. Very well played, that man. Ayoku, seven heroes killed, nine assists. Very well played. That was very good showing from both teams, to be fair, though. A couple of the defenders with four deaths or more. The attackers, one, two. Oh, no, they got a couple and three down here, but that was very well played, man. Very well played from both teams. Heroes killed, 43 to 24. So, like, double from the attackers. 